hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is elena green and in this video i'm going to share with you guys five tips to help you protect your energy field your aura and it is so hot out so so excuse me because i'm i'm already moist and i use that word on purpose because i know like so many people hate it and i don't understand why like why do y'all hate the word moist like when i hear the word moist i think of three things cake and like sweating you know and none of those things are bad so <laughs> Yeah, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys five tips of how you can protect your energy field and your aura. These things are things that I specifically use and they work for me. They're great, they're wonderful. And I'm gonna share them with you. I have been absent for three days. I've missed you guys. You know, I've had a weird three days. This is about to be TMI. I'm about to talk about period. So if you are like weird about that, you know, you might want to skip ahead a couple minutes but like you know you traveled through a vagina to get here so i don't understand like why you know anyway so oh my god like the last three days i've had like the worst period of my life like i have like for, the, for two days i literally was in my bed like i couldn't leave my bed uh which is not the case for me ever so it was very strange and i think that it just has to has to do with this whole energy cleanse that has been going on i know y'all are feeling it in your own way there has been crazy energetic changes going on there's a lot of shifts going on right now and there's a lot ending there's a lot of endings going on a lot of people are probably seeing 55s 99s fives and nines uh, there's a lot going on right now so get very excited because there's gonna be some very positive things that are happening with this fall equinox and with the next couple months coming I'm very excited but I just want to share with you guys five tips that you can use to strengthen your aura and to protect your energetic field during this time because it is still a little bit rough right now but it's getting better and I know y'all feel it so here I come with the tips these are things that I personally use that work for me and I hope that they work for you too tip number one remove yourself from the toxic situation or from the toxic people from the toxic job from the friends whatever it is that you think is the toxic thing in your life that's where you need to start is by trying to distance yourself from those energies because it's that negative energy that's negatively affecting you and so let's we're gonna start there it can be difficult to do because sometimes you live with these people sometimes you really need this job sometimes you cannot do this all at once and so it can be something that you almost have to cope with that's why I started with this one because the following four will help you deal with this situation if this is what you're dealing with so you know even if it's something where you're living with these people just try to not spend time with them don't sit around with them don't don't talk about the things that they talk about just kind of distance yourself in a way that you know keeps them from attacking you or keeps them from questioning why or whatever you know you know uh, keeps them from being negative about it try your hardest but that is definitely number one you know remove yourself if it's a job start looking and start taking action and taking you know your energy and putting it forth finding a different option or even just looking over different jobs or even finding you know the time to sit and meditate on what you would be doing right now if you had your total choice about it like if it was up to you 100% what would you be doing right now or if money wasn't involved what would you be doing and then try to start thinking of how you could build a career around that even if it's just brainstorming you know it's that thought and that energy that kind of takes you in that direction which is very positive so Tip number one is remove yourself and try to start taking a different avenue um, away from the negative thing. Tip number two is using your intentions, prayer, and visualization to strengthen your aura and to affirm that your energy field is strengthened and unaffected by the people around you. So affirmations that are good for that are like, I am a rock, I remain unaffected by the people around me, I am unaffected by the energies around me, my aura is strong, I am unaffected. You know, you can do your own variation of it. Those are a couple that I use. I always just affirm that other people cannot affect me at my core. I am unaffected by the energies around me. It's just a really good one. Another thing you can do is visualize that your aura is made of just like this white light armor. You know, our aura extends past our physical body anyway. And so if you can just imagine that this aura around you is protecting you from any of those energies that are trying to get in, if you can just intend to do this with your intentions and visualize that it is just like made of this armor, that truly works as well. And then just praying, you know, saying a prayer of gratitude every morning, saying, God, universe, thank you so much that you strengthen my energetic field, that you help me remain unaffected by the energies around me and that you keep me strong and strengthened from the negative things that are around me or that are trying to bring me down. All three of those are wonderful things that you can use. 
tip number three is buy some sage and make it a habit of burning some sage in your home, in your space, in your room, wherever you know your space is, even if you have to go do it in your car if you can't burn it in your house. Sage is so wonderful. Sage is one of those things that once you introduce it to your practice or to your life, like you're not gonna be able to live without it. It, but it, what it does is it cleanses and it removes negative energy from your aura. It cleanses your aura and protects your aura. And it can cleanse your space as well. So that's why you see people who, it, it, the term is called smudging, or you could just say saging or cleansing, whatever. You see that people do it in their space or they'll do it in a home or in something new. And what it does is, you know, everything has a vibrational frequency, so everything can harness negative energy. So it's just believed that the sage removes that negative energy and cleanses that aura of whatever and I truly you truly feel a sense of peace when you burn sage it's just a beautiful thing and something I think that's so interesting about it is the species of sage which is salvia it derives from the Latin word salvar which actually means to heal which is so cool to me like that's beautiful so you can pick this up at any metaphysical store you can find them online it's very cheap it's easy to find and it's it's just wonderful and like I said, I make a habit of doing this at least once a week or so in my own space, with my own being. You wanna start from the top down. You know, just you just brush it around yourself in a clockwise manner and just remove the, you know, just use your intentions to remove the negativity. It's really about your intentions. You know, use your intentions to remove that negativity and the power of the plant will do the rest. Number four is using essential oils, which is another one of my favorites. Essential oils are beautiful at strengthening your aura, at cleansing your aura, and just protecting your aura. I've shared before in the past that the story of baby Jesus being born, the three wise men gifted Jesus frankincense and myrrh and gold. Gold being one of the most high vibrational elements on the earth, as well as frankincense and myrrh being two of the essential oils that strengthen and protect the aura the most. So those are two definite ones that you can use or buy. Others you can buy are rose, lavender, patchouli, grapefruit, lemon, citrus oil. I'm looking at my little note here because I wrote down the others. Sage oil for sure, peppermint oil, cypress oil, basil, and cedar wood, which I'll list these below in the description if you want a little list of them. So all of those are wonderful oils. I personally have frankincense, myrrh, and patchouli right now. I just ran out of lavender, which I need to get more lavender, and I ran out of peppermint too. I need to get me more peppermint. Those are like staples in my life. So you can use any of those. Any of those will be wonderful at strengthening and just protecting your energetic field with that vibration of that plant protecting you. And number five, tip number five, is using crystals or stones as well as a cross, if that's your thing. If it's not, you don't, you know, you don't have to go there. I prefer to use something made from nature, so it also carries the vibration of Mother Nature. To me, this symbolizes, of course, my belief and my honor towards God, the Father of everything, but as well, just protection to my entire aura from the top down, from side to side. It creates a total ring of protection like I said, if that's not your thing, you don't, you don't gotta go there. Selenite, or excuse me, this isn't selenite, calcite, but selenite is another wonderful stone that you can use. Any form of tourmaline, I mean, I prefer black tourmaline, but any other form of tourmaline. Any root chakra stone, so I mean, any carnelian or like red jasper would work well. Selenite is another really good one. I need to get another another selenite. I used to have like a cute little selenite wand, but I had lost it somewhere and I don't know where and that always bums me out when you lose a crystal and you don't know where. It makes you feel like a bad mother, you know? This is Kambaba Jasper. It's one of my favorites. I'd like to get more of it or like something bigger because I love, I love how cool it is. And then another one you can use is definitely amethyst or quartz, but I wanted to, to throw a, uh, just a side note in with that, you know, using it for protection when you're feeling balanced is wonderful, but if you're feeling disrupted at the moment or a little unbalanced, which we all come into those moments where, you know, you need to ground, which I would definitely go for a, like a root chakra stone, such as the carnelian or the red jasper, even, you know, a tourmaline such as that, you know, go with something like that that's grounding and calming if you're feeling disrupted. 
Try to stay away from high vibrational stones such as quartz and amethyst when you're feeling very disrupted and you're feeling disrupted by the energies around you because what it's gonna do is these are amplification stones. They're gonna amplify the way that you're feeling. So if you're feeling very disrupted by the people around you and they're negatively affecting you and they're making you feel negative and, and hurt and sad, if you're really focusing on these stones, they're gonna amplify that. So you really wanna to get to a state of balance before you work with amethyst and quartz, but that's just my personal opinion, and if that doesn't resonate with you, like I said, you do not have to go with that. You know, I always just encourage people, take what you feel, you know, if it's something you feel and if you hear it and you're like, yes, like I feel that, then that's something that's wonderful for you. But if you don't feel it within your being, like leave it, you know? There's always, there's different ways and different truths for everybody. So what works for some people might not work for other people and what worked for some people totally will work for others. And that's just the beauty of this and the beauty of like the spiritual community and us sharing all of these beautiful things. But these are five tips that truly work for me and help me deal with the negative people around me, the negative energies. Sometimes it's difficult to be at work, you know what I mean? Or to be at places where you're surrounded by people that you would not normally be, you know, you would not normally surround yourself with those people unless you have to. So these things can help you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with a friend, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You know, thank you guys so much for all of the love that you, that you share with me, the comments, the emails that you send. Even though I don't respond to every single email, I do see a lot of them. And I'm just really grateful for the love that you guys share with me. You guys are so beautiful and I'm grateful for you. Thank you for existing, you know. I'm glad that you're here. I'm just glad that you're here. And I mean like on this planet, you know, I'm glad that you're here. Keep it real, stay kind, continue to be the change that you wanna see in this world. I will see you in the next one. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love.